Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel TLT Teaching, Learning, Thinking So, let's start my teaching You guys please learn and think from my lessons If you like this video, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe And also hit the bell, bell icon if you want to listen to my future videos And also if you want to learn any lessons regarding your studies Please let me know, comment please So let's start our section In this video I am explaining the topic on computer communication. I am talking this class based on BTEC syllabus, K2 syllabus. So let's go to the video. So the topics explained here are introduction to computer communication. The first one is transmission modes. So in computer communication, data transmission modes are several types. That is serial transmission, parallel transmission, asynchronous transmission, synchronous transmission, Simplex communication, half duplex communication, full duplex communication. So, data communication. Data communication are the exchange of data between two devices via some of its transmission medium such as wire, cable. For data communication to occur, the communication devices must be part of a communication system made up of combination of hardware such as physical equipment and software such as programs. So, when we communicate, we are sharing some information and this sharing can be local or remote. For example, telephony, telegraph, TV, etc. So data means data refer to the information presented in whatever forms is agreed upon by the parties creating and using the data. So it's refer a information. So for computer data are zeros and one. It is expressed in zeros and one. So the effectiveness of data communication system depends on four fundamental characteristics such as delivery, accuracy and timeliness. The fourth one is jitter. So the first one delivery the system must deliver the data to the correct destination the data must be received by the internet device or user and only by that device or user so the system must deliver the data correct destination that means delivery must be correct and the second one is accuracy the system must deliver the data accurately that means data that have been altered in transmission and left uncorrected and unusable so that means the accuracy the, the data must be accurate accuracy must be left and the next one is timeliness the system must deliver the data in timely manner so data delivered late are useless in this case video and audio timely delivery means delivering data as they are produced in the same order that they are produced and without significant delay this kind of delivery is also called real-time transmission and the last one jitter jitter refer to the variations in the packet arrival times this is the uneven delay in the delivery of audio or video packets otherwise it affects an uneven quality in the video so that's all about the four components so we have explained the fundamental characteristics of data communication system so the next one is the data communication system the data communication system has five components mainly the first one is message and the second one is sender receiver medium and protocol the five components are there so the first one is uh, message the message is the information or data to be communicated the popular forms of the information include that numbers pictures audio and video etc and the second one is sender sender is the device that sends data message it can be a computer telephone camera etc and the receiver the third one is the receiver the receiver is the device that receives the message example computer telephone etc and the fourth one is transmission medium the message has to be transferred through a medium the transmission medium is the physical path by which the message travels from the sender to receiver such as for example the twisted pair cable in that is used in the cable tv and uh, fiber optical cable coaxial cable etc and the fifth one is protocol protocol is a set of rules that governs the data communication it represent an agreement between communicating devices so it's an agreement between the communicating devices such as sender and receiver so protocol is a set of rules governs data communication so that's all about the com data communication systems the components of data communication system and we are going to next part that is transmission modes we already said that the transmission modes are different types so based on the data flow data from the flow of data based on data flow it is uh, divided into three types that is simplex half duplex and uh, full duplex so simplex communication there is a part a sender and receiver 
may be receiver center etc so data communication in this mode the communication is unidirection it's a one directional communication only one of the two devices on a link can transmit other can receive it so the example keyboards and monitors the outputs only outputs are going so the it's a unidirectional mode unidirectional data flow so this mode can use the entire capacity of the channel to send data on the on data in one direction so the entire capacity of the channel is used to by used to to send the data in one direction so the next one is half duplex half duplex communication there is a station two stations are there the direction of data at one time direction of data at time two so each station can both transmit and receive but not at the same time at a time they cannot transmit and receive so when we are when one device is sending the other can only receive and vice versa so the entire capacity of the channel is taken over by whichever the two devices is transmitting at the time so for example walkie talkies and citizen band radios so this mode used when there is no need for communication in both direction at the same time at the same time there is no need of not no need of communication then we can use half duplex communication and the third one is full duplex communication there is two stations the direction of data all the time it's both direction bidirectional communication mode is full duplex communication and it also called duplex communication both stations can transmit and receive simultaneously signal going in one direction share the capacity of the link with the signal going in the other direction so for example telephone networks this mode used when communication in both direction is required all the time the capacity of the channel uh, however must be divided between two direction between the two direction so this is all about today's lesson thank you for watching my video if you like this video please subscribe my channel